What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm finally going to do a video that I've been wanting to do for the past couple weeks now. I just haven't had time, but today I'm finally going to make it. And it is, by the title, my Dream WrestleMania match card. Um, obviously, people have done this in the past, but I haven't seen anyone do it recently, so I'm going to do it now. Because, you know, not a lot of people are doing them. But, you know, after this, probably a lot of different people are going to be doing it and saying, Oh, yeah, you know, I've been wanting to do this for random, blah, blah, shut the fuck up. Um, but, yeah, my Dream WrestleMania card, I got about 9 or 10 matches. I believe um yeah so let's get uh, right into it shall we the first the first match to kick off Wrestlemania is going to be a money in the bank ladder match consisting of Chris Jericho Sami Zayn Samoa Joseph Adrian Neville The Miz Kevin Owens and the guy I would have win the whole thing Rusev now, I think this would be a very stacked Money in the Bank match. Just look at that. Just look at that Money in the Bank match and tell me that is not a stacked card right there. You got Sami Zayn, Chris Jericho, Neville, Samoa Joe, Miz, Kevin Owens, Rusev. Like, come on, man. And the reason why I would have Rusev win is just because I really love Rusev. And I just think, you know, if I'm booking it, I'm going to book who I want to win. And I would have Rusev. I think it would be a very great match, a great way to kick off WrestleMania and, uh, yeah, who would you have won? Let me know down below. And uh, moving on to the next match. Now the next match right after that Money in the Bank match. You know, I got to keep the uh, Mania going strong. You know, you can't be having any boring matches. The next match would uh, be very Gucci. And it would be Finn Balor taking on Shinsuke Nakamura for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, the reason is... Uh, you know, I really want to see this match. I'm it's, it's happened in New Japan. I'm pretty sure I'm not a fucking 100%. I don't know all my fucking facts, all right? Don't hate on me because I don't know if it happened. But, you know, it probably did happen. I don't fucking know. And just imagine WrestleMania, the King of Strong style. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura going in as champion, taking on the Demon Finn Balor. I think it would be a great match. Second match on the card. Uh, so far, uh, this Mania is off to a hella great start. Um, had that great money in the bank match, like having this great classic one on one match. Uh, I'd probably have, uh, I don't know if I would have Shinsuke walking out as champion or Balor. I don't know, you know, either way, it's gonna be a good ending. Either way, it's gonna be a great match. So, uh, yeah, let's move on, uh, to the next match. The next match is a match I really, really hope to see happen in the real life WWE, and it is the Swiss Superman Cesaro versus the Beast Brock Lesnar. Now, I've been saying this forever now, and I'm going to keep saying it until it actually fucking happens. We got Lesnar versus Joe. That was a dream match. We got Lesnar versus Droman. That was a dream match. Now, I want Lesnar versus Cesaro. Come on, WWE. Just do it. Um, but this would be on my dream WrestleMania card. I just really, really want to see this match. Cesaro is so fucking strong. You can tell by what he does in the ring in the tag team matches with Sheamus and Lesnar's fucking Lesnar. He's a fucking beast. Just imagine these two going at it. Uppercut, suplexes. I just, I just think it would be one great match. I would love to see Cesaro beat Lesnar too. I mean, you know, five fucking uppercuts in a row. Maybe suplex Lesnar into the fucking uh, turnbuckle or something. And then, boom, neutralizer. Cesaro swinging that beast ass. So, fucking Lesnar maybe F5 to Cesaro from inside the ring to the outside of the ring. Cesaro lands on his feet, pulls him out. Fucking neutralizer on the outside. Oh, my God. You know, I might have to do this in my pick fed. I don't fucking know. But I think this would be a great match. Third match of the fucking night. Like, come on. It's already going pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, and it's just going to get better. So, uh, yeah, moving on to the next match. The next match is another match I hope to see happen in WWE sooner than later, and it is Shane McMahon versus Triple H. And I just think this is such a great match. Uh, Story-wise, I think they could do a lot with this. Um, I don't know why they haven't done it yet. I think they're leading to it. And I think it would be leading to one of the, a great match, one, probably one of uh, Shane's best matches. Just imagine this in a no-holds-barred match or some shit. Maybe even Hell in a Cell. I don't even know. I just think it would be so great. Uh, Triple H is a very good wrestler, even at his age. Shane McMahon does always crazy stuff and shit. Um, I can just imagine a pedigree from, like, the top rope or some shit. Uh, Shane jumps to the top of the fucking stage, jumps off, misses, or I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. This match would be really good. Story-wise, build-up, everything to this match would be phenomenal. Um, and yeah, I think I'd probably have Triple H winning because I don't think Shane, I don't, I, I can't see Shane beating a guy like Triple H to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, moving on. 
The next match is kind of weird. I just thought of it off the top of my head when I was playing with my figures earlier. And it would be Daniel Bryan taking on Braun Strowman. Oh, I don't, I don't know why I, I put this in this fucking video, to be honest with you. I was just playing uh, this match with my figures, and it was a very good match, you know? I think it would be like a David versus Goliath moment. Uh, both of them got beards, too. Don't forget about that. I think Strowman would obviously fucking kill Daniel Bryan. Uh, duh. But I just think this match would be pretty good. Uh, reason being is like, you know, it could be like one of those matches where like it would always be the little guy trying to get the big guy down. And the big guy just fucking boom. And does like the boom, power bump, and boom. And like Brian like kicks out at three, tries to hit him with the knee. Strowman grabs him, does his dumb ass like boom. And then Brian just keeps trying to fight back and fight back. But in the end, Strowman just boom, takes him down, wins the match. I just think these two would have a very good match. I don't know why. Just like people said, uh, Brian and Lesnar would have a good match. I agree with that as well. I think that should have happened in 2013, but unfortunately, I'm in 2014. But unfortunately, Daniel Bryan got injured. But um, yeah, I just think these two would have a great match. Strowman would obviously win. But uh, yeah, what do you think? The next match would be for the WWE Championship, and it would be between CM Punk and AJ Styles. Now, I think this is a dream match for everybody. Um, I just think it would be so great. Um, again, the build-up to it would be phenomenal. No pun intended. Ha ha ha. Like every fucking person says on YouTube when they say phenomenal. Ha ha. Wrestling jokes. Hilarious. Um, but yeah, I think CM Punk versus AJ would be great. I was going to put AJ versus Michaels on here, but you know, a lot of people say that. So I want to kind of switch it up and put Punk versus AJ for the WWE Championship. And uh, yeah, I don't think I need to say anything else about this. This would be a great match. Um, I'm not even at the main event yet. There's two more matches after this. So yeah, the fact that this ain't the main event means uh, there's more coming, so uh, yeah, I'd probably have fucking AJ win too, just because AJ is the fucking greatest wrestler currently, um, one of the greatest of all time, definitely in my top 5, um, and Punk's probably in my top 10 as well, but uh, okay, I'll be in a different video, but uh, yeah, moving on. The co-main event match. By the way, sorry for my fucking camera too. The reason I keep doing this is because this tripod is really pissing me off. I'm just trying to make it sit and it just doesn't want to. But uh, yeah, now on to the co-main event. John Cena. Versus The Undertaker. I know, everyone says this as well, but come on, man. Undertaker's my favorite of all time. Cena's up there. Like, oh, this is such a good dream match. People are saying that at No Mercy this Sunday, Undertaker's gonna come and fucking cost Cena and shit. <laughs> And, you know, I would be down for it. I don't think, uh, like a lot of people are saying, The Undertaker should never come back. No, that was the greatest ending ever. Uh, I agree, kind of. But then if you think about it, maybe Undertaker should win his last ever match. I feel like that would be a better send-off, but that's just me. And this match would be, oh, just great. Grady, great, 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 great. Um, everyone's saying Cena vs. Roman is going to be so great, and it probably is, but come on, Undertaker vs. Cena. Especially if Undertaker is in his prime and Cena in his prime, it would have been so much better. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, it probably won't, but I, you can always hope and pray that Undertaker might come back in no mercy. You never know. But I'd probably have Undertaker win because, you know, it's under fucking Taker. What are you going to do? You're not going to have him lose to John Cena. But, uh, yeah, now on to the main event. Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose. First Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Shield Triple Threat main event. This is absolutely my dream fucking main event ever. I mean, uh, also, you got the Stone Cold vs. CM Punk. You got the Undertakers vs. John Cena's. You got all those fucking matches, but come on. Nothing can top this. Um, Shield is my favorite fucking faction of all time. Um, I, I fucking watched their whole entire career from uh, 2012 when they debuted at Survivor Series helping CM Punk win. To when they broke up with Seth getting hit, uh, hitting them with a, a fucking chair. It was amazing on this whole entire thing. I know they did this before, but it was so rushed because it was right before the brand split. And it just wasn't... They, it, they didn't do it right. Because I know they didn't have enough time, but still. Why do it at all if you're not going to do it right? And I think Mania would be the perfect opportunity for this. Will it ever happen? I can only hope... Um, and the reason I put the universal belt is, come on, you're not going to not have it for the belt. Just come on. And this would be such a great match. I don't, I would not want Roman to win. I'm, my favorite shield member, uh, is Ambrose, so I'd probably have Ambrose win. Seth Watson champ, um, you, you know, 
And, uh, yeah, I feel like this would be a perfect way to end off WrestleMania, but that's just me. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we hit 800 subscribers last week, and we're already about to hit 900. Um, I don't know what I'm doing differently, but I'm just growing so fucking quick. Like, thank you guys so much. I'm so close to 1,000. Like, I think by the time this video comes out, I'll be, like, at 870. And I think we're going to hit 1,000 by the end of this month, maybe. I don't fucking know. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Like the video. Comment on the video. I don't care. Do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm just doing this because it's fun. It's a hobby. Um, uh, yeah. Follow me on Instagram at Mike the Wrestling Collector. And, yeah, more videos to come. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.